All right, so ladies and gentlemen, I must say a special good night to each and every one on the inside here. My name is Slick TD Entertainer. We have on the line here Ace Patterson. Yeah, boy, Slick. It was a long time. It was Ace Patterson here, the writer, such musician. Of course, of course. And it's always good to hear from you, man. Unfortunately, we couldn't have gotten you on video tonight, but, you know, we decided to get you on the phone here online, right? So we're going to do this thing different. Um, so just tell us, all right, when you started writing, though? Um, I started writing when I was about 18 years old, um, writing books, reading books. I got another knowledge from reading various books on all different sorts of topics. Yeah. Okay. Actually, I'm a polymath. Right. Uh, so I learned different types of stuff by studying um, Leonardo da Vinci and Imhotep and Newton and Einstein and um, all kind of physics and you know writings on health and stuff. All right. Cool. Cool. All right. So that's good, man. And so, what year that started? Though? When year you started that project of writing? Well, 18 years old, actually I was gathering knowledge since I was like a young person, a young child. Okay. Around probably eight, certain thinking about, oh, I got into music at an early age, but you know, talking about, talking about like writing, but um, mm -hmm. I went into the music, I, 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 I came across a lot of um, famous other writers, like, who was into music as well. Okay. All right, nice man. And I know you're hailing from the area of Santa Cruz here, eh? that is up on the north side, up on the hills, you know? So, you know yeah, got... you're from, yeah, I live in Santa Cruz, yeah. Yeah, man, so, you but, know. Um, mm -hmm. Well, um, the first book that I wrote is, um, I am under the, the name on Amazon, the name Duran E. D. S. Patterson. Okay. I named the first book that I want to talk about is How to Write Lyrics to a Song. Yes, go right ahead. Alright, well, I've been writing music since I was like 13, right? Okay. And um, I noticed a pattern in most of the songs that I write. Right. Every song has a pattern in construction, which means that uh, there's a format to, 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 to write a song. Mm -hmm. and what this book does is shows you the format in which to write a song in, in the most natural way. Like, take for instance, Father We Wish, be which is the example in the book. Right. That they go on you to get to understand how the song is constructed. Okay. Uh, yeah, so it's basically the talk about how the like focal points and some the the um the, the song is most emotional and uh, the structure and how to how to open the how to open a song like the intro and the outro and things like that. Right. And uh, this book actually sells for like two dollars and ninety nine cents on Amazon. Okay. Um, on Kindle. Right. Where you can actually um, you know, you just go to Kindle, the um, you use a credit card and you buy it and you read it. Okay. Basically. Cool. And it shows you a lot of like, the basic construction how to write lyrics to a song. All right. Or the format of the lyrics and a melody. And a melody. All right, yeah. cool. Yeah, so that's important, man, and I'm really happy to hear about that as well. Cause it's always good to for young and upcoming young upcoming songwriters as well. And even though if it could be in your thirties, your forties, and your fifties, you can now start to get into music and know how to write a song. So this is a lovely book you can get as well on Amazon. All right, as you said. All right, how to mm. like lyrics to a song by. Duranis Patterson. Duranis Patterson. Yes, and there's yeah. a there's a second book as well that you came out with as well called The Mysterious Necklace. Talk about that first here. Well, Leon, yeah, the Mysterious Necklace is a kind of paranormal book. It deals with like a ghost, a girl, a girl um found a necklace and it was troubling them and they see things in the house and. Um, it's like a teen, like based on a teen movie. Okay. Um, it actually be made into a movie actually if it was a completed uh, script. Yes. Like the reason why I got, I was thinking about writing this book was actually getting someone to actually make it into a movie for me by um uh, by by making it right in the script and you know filming and stuff with a very good book because yes they got some good reviews on Amazon. I read some friends read it. It says great. Um. It, it, it um 
It's a bit, it's a bit like a teen movie with paranormal things. Like it's like a thriller horror, okay. Not really horror, but it's like a thriller kind of mystery kind of book. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's a mysterious necklace. Yes. And it too is available on Amazon on Kindle for five dollars. It's worth five dollars. Okay, cool. A lot more pages than the others. Right. And uh, um, it's by Duranis Patterson as well. Okay. So do you? Mysterious necklace. So do you have like any other any other writers on this book or just you solely write this this one, Mysterious Necklace? Well I I am I am the only writer of this book. No co writers, nothing like that actually on this book. Um it was totally written by me and I, I also know how to like convert um like a book to a script, you know, where you have like interior, exterior and things like that. Like interior on a script will be like Inside and exterior will be like outside and things like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, she studied um, James Cameron, how he wrote Aliens from the 1980s. Right. So actually, he's learning how to write a script for a movie. Okay. And I let me just say to myself, oh, I could write a book based on, like, write a movie, and I just came up with this. I was walking in a abandoned uh, house in the, uh, a little bit of the way of the road from where I live. Mm-hmm. And I came across it. When I came across it, I said, "You know what? Let me write a horn to have a place." Right. Because the place looked like it horn, you know? Okay. <laughs> right. And um, it just the idea, the idea is just came. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I was inspired by that. Nice man. Yeah. All right, and there's there's one more book that you also wrote as well, called "At the Heart of Wisdom." Can you tell us like well, uh, about yeah. this one? Yeah, uh, the Heart of Wisdom is a book that I uh, I wrote concerning like when I was twenty four years old, I was real deep searching for God and stuff. And it was uh, a, the book is actually accumulation of my life so far, like autobiography, like you know when you write a biography with yourself. Yes. Uh, how you, uh, you walk with God and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And um, the wisdom that I learned over the years from the mistakes that I made. And not to make them again, and okay. all my interaction with people, and how I learn how to um, how to cope with things, and how to um, how you how you advance yourself by learning new things every day. Yes, um, that's important. And it actually, it actually, um, when I wrote it, I couldn't believe I wrote it. When I read back those pages, I wrote it. I said, "Way I was, oh, I was so wise when I was was twenty four years old in, in in certain things about doing certain things and interacting with people and." Just get them to know. I I just I, I get a refresher. You know when you write something, you come back to it, say like we actually wrote that way. Okay. That in? Right. Yeah. And this book actually sells for like four dollars on Amazon. The same Kindle thing where you don't load the book and you want to Kindle and you read it. Right. Um. And by Duranis Patterson as well. Okay. Cool. I mean that's wonderful as well, and we. And we really have like wonderful authors as well, you know, like from Corbin, right from Trinidad and Tobago as well. So you know, yep. like you can just tell us like who are your favorite like authors and stuff, like who you, like who you look up to and like who inspired you to write them. Well, I like um um Joe um G John Ruel Ronald Tolkien, who is the author of um, Lord of the Rings. I like also um uh, this 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 writer. Um, I like it, uh, although he's not really a writer, but I like James Cameron. But yes. here I see the stories in his movies, like how he wrote. I love, I love, I love so no, I love, I love, um, I love, I love okay. story around Titanic, and mm-hmm. how he wrote Avatar, and how he wrote um, Abyss. Actually, he was into a lot of deep sea diving and stuff. I wish I led him to do Abyss and Titanic. Yes. And his scripts are very, scripts are very great. Mm-hmm. Because if you understand the the the, the 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 grand scale of his achievement when it comes to movies and stuff. Yes. It's a it's a it's a lot that went in there. And when you when it actually spend so much pains going through these things, right. going to do these things, um. Guarantee that it'll be, you know, it could keep coming. I'll go look at Avatar, but that's one of the top rules in the box office of one of the top of all time. Alright, alright. Yeah. It actually, it actually, his actual movie, Avatar, actually beat out Titanic. 
I tell you, I tell you, tell you, like, what's number one? Some holding number one spot. Okay, cool. I mean, that's yeah. a that's a wonderful thing to know as well, especially when you're describing about the storybooks and to know that you know you have these persons inspiring you yeah. to do this sort of work as well. I mean, it's wonderful to hear yeah. East Patterson and I know I know we have you know we have spoken for the past or about a month ago. So like like you know during this time now between last month and this month you know. How has it been for you then, as an individual? Well, I'm still doing my stuff for writing music. Actually, you remember we were writing a song together. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, 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 I've been exercising as well. Um, reading books. Um, watching a bit of TV, basically. Just um, playing guitar. Compo- Actually, I bought a new keyboard, so I experimented with that. A core, okay. very good keyboard, very very good, good brand. Yes. And I've been experimenting with different songs and stuff. And you know, mm-hmm. it's eating good food, nice. And uh, now that the um, no other retail stores will back up and stuff, I should I should be going to get some new materials and stuff. Yes, man. And it's always good yeah. to like, and it's always good to like build your craft, and especially as the economy is, you know, growing back once more, and you already have your online thing going on as well. You know, we, I know remember we, last time we had spoken, um, it was really talking about the classical music, and you know, being as leader of Hope and Glory the band, which I'm also a member of as a singer, you know, and. You said you have a song that you yeah. that you began working with me as well. Could you just you know, as you say into songwriting and stuff. So could you just give us a description, you know? Or you could tell us like what is going on, you know. Well, what's be um, upcoming? I wanted to say concerning music, I, re- I recently um, put out a song going in the store probably tomorrow or the day after. All right. Well um father we trip you which was recorded about a year ago but I don't get it that's actually release it. Yes. So look out for that as well, Father, we worship you by Hope and Glory. Yes, Father, soon featuring Hope and Glory, the band. Yes. It'll be in Spotify, hey, um, Amazon, um, iTunes, a lot of other places that she would actually sell music. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that should be, that should be great. And also, if you want to listen to your video as well, as other places. Follow me, which will be like Hope and Glory, the band's on YouTube. Yes, and it's easy to find as well. Just type in Hope and Glory, the band, that's T H E B A N D, right? And once you look for Father, you worship you, you will find it. Um, it was sung by me as well, right? In terms of this, so I'm also a member, as I mentioned. And it's really a song that really provides you know positive vibes and to really inspire others as well then because we really want to give out that sort of positive vibes and we really need it more than ever right and East Patterson I would like you to like give us give like persons who are into writing and stuff like or who want to get into writing give us give them some advice okay for people who want to get into writing as a subject yes you you start with whatever little means you have if you you get a book pen write on whatever thing Mm-hmm. You, you, you go on YouTube, you can scroll along and learn as much as possible because YouTube is actually a tool to learn. Um, you, you body up with somebody who actually plays like guitar or a keyboard or some kind of thing. Right. Or some instrument. And you make friends with them, talk to them, get feed, get feed and learn from their knowledge. Um, you listen to a lot, of, a lot of music, whatever your fav, favorite type of music is, you get to understand the genre and instruct you about genre, that genre. And you know, you just you know you you just use and, and of course you use the creativity because okay. that's what you really need. All you really need is the creativity to actually make a song. Eh? Right, and that is important as well. You know, to note as well, you know, in terms of songwriting and being able to be creative, because these days you have to make sure yeah. be as creative and really energetic and and loyal as possible towards your craft and music because what we hear at times is 
you, you, you come like you hear a broken record, like you know you hear certain things that it just redundant. It's always good to build on your repertoire, build on your your mindset, and really expand on the knowledge and expertise, and that is very important as well. Yeah, I agree with that. All right, and I want to thank you so much for joining in on the on the food interview with me, Slick T, the entertainer. All right, we appreciate that you know you, you took the time and effort. I know you're trying your best as possible, trying as best as possible to really yeah. go about it as well. You know? Yeah, yeah. So, but don't worry. Yes. I mean, things just happen for a reason, but we are still here and we have to be thankful for life as well. That we have another way to communicate. Yeah? Of course. Alright, so as you, as you hear the song in the background as well, I'm going to play for you guys to take us out, right? It's called Father, We Worship You by Hope and Glory the Band. actually wrote this song here, Ace Patterson. Of course. Of course, definitely. Talking about Father, we worship you by Hope and Glory, the band as well, man. Written by East Patterson and Eric Lucilio. So I really appreciate you know, you took the time and effort and patience as well, man. And hope you have a good night, good night, bro. Hey, have a great night, Slick. And all the fans, all the only friends, all the people, everyone, have a great night. All right, thanks again, man. Take care. Okay, bye. Right, so there you have it, folks. So that was the man himself, Ace Patterson. You know, we had him there on the line just now there. All right, so hope you guys keep safe. Look out for more. All right, we're going to be doing it on video once again on Friday. And then we have more coming up next week and the week after. So stay tuned. You'll see 
More acts coming in, right? Have a good one.